hi i am in sioux city today and i am going to check out this um flea market um Tre uh, heart and soul treasures is what it's called i've been here before and i really liked it i had limited time so today i am back to see what i can find come on in let's go shopping hi it's lori from dakota relics come join me as i travel around the area searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. So walking right into this store, you see these gorgeous swung glass faces. They're certainly priced at retail. Um, they're becoming so popular that they are harder to find for resale. It's you know, mid-century modern at its best. It's a great mid-century modern lamp. And the price on that is 135. I love the shade. Great. Oh, look at that footstool. I like that too. That's really mid-century modern. It's $90, which isn't a bad price. Yeah. This is like <laughs> true mid-century modern chairs. Somebody had these in my family. Well, that's a nice footstool too for 30. And here is a, oh, look at that. I like that lamp. I'm looking at this red and white ashtray here. $22. Is it homemade or, yeah. Oh, it was a craft project of somebody's, but still a nice piece. So here we go with our uh, stroll down the lanes. It's a unique piece. And that's quite the fancy lamp up there. So I do believe this is like a consignment mall. Um, not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. Like each booth is ran by or owned by a different person, consigned out. I'm gonna try to look for some mid-century modern stuff because if there's one thing I need more of in my shop on my Etsy store is some mid-century modern. Um, it is going for a lot of money right now, so it is harder to find all the time for resale, resale uh, just due to the fact that um, it has become so popular. Many flower pots in the slide glass. Um, Oh, I like this. It's not mid-century modern for sure, but this is a very neat. Oh, I wonder how much that is. Let me look. Four dollars. Yeah, I'm picking this up for sure. It's it, it has some age on it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so much for mid-century modern. Wand vase. It's quite the ashtray too. Ashtray's twenty dollars. Oh, there's a. I think it's gonna be Tanawa, Mexico, a frog for five dollars. All right. Just like a, a wide variety of different style of booths. Um, oh, I kind of like this leather fringy coat. Let's see what the price on that is. Oh my goodness. 180. It is a Harley Davidson coat though. Oh yeah. You know, 
I might look it up. This is cool. My sisters are still with me, and so um, I do make them look things up for me. <laughs> hey, that's cool. It's like a bag made out of a old cowboy boot. That's pretty neat. And we have some Christmas over here. And then we are on to shelves. We can even buy firewood. It's a nice day. Wouldn't need a fire today, but oh, look at this turkey. It's kind of cool. It's that melted plastic stuff. Let's see. At one time it was $2.99. Now it's $20. <laughs> Oh, they have some wonderful mid-century modern furniture in the back here. I'll take a shot of it soon. Um, a lot of vintage toys. I find I have better luck with um, picking those up like at garage sales. Here's an interesting shelf. Oh, this is a pretty carnival glass. Oh, it's Northwood, I think. It is. Northwood Carnival Glass Bowl. It's quite the chicken. What is this? Antique steel cast iron rabbit. Mm, I question the an antiquity of it. This has got to be Northwood. It's very pretty. It is listed as a sugar bowl. And here is the mid-century modern furniture. It's so well done. It's taken me a while to really kind of like uh, get back into the the liking the mid-century modern furniture. But isn't this piece just classic? Oh, and these these uh, they're. Drexel Declaration Nightstands from Kip Stewart, $1,200, but they are amazing. I like this owl wall hanging. He's really cool. He's $45. I think he's neat. Oh, look at those lamps. Oh, I can just see those hanging. Oh, $30. That is not a bad price at all. Such a nice set. Another nice set here. And look at that Capice shell hanging lamp. Amazing. So I see a red lamp over here and we're trying to guess at the price. My sister says 125. I say 210. And the price is $225. Two, oh, I was much closer. It's a pretty cool lamp. Uh, I'm going to say $45. $25? Oh, I do like it. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it is. Oh, it is kind of wavy in there, though. Like wavy, yeah. Oh boy, it's gotten humid. Ooh. Reminds me of that one um, St. Pauli girl when I gave you when you started. Uh huh. For, um, I think what happened is they tried to glue it on the cardboard. Oh. Ah. It's pretty. Look at this little cherubie. Oh, it's one hundred and twenty dollars. Dresden Bowal with four cherubs. It's, it's nice. I am filming. No, it's okay. Oh, $60. It's kind of a cool desk lamp. Look at that fancy smancy candle holder. Mm. 
one stop. Find everything you need for gadgets inside and out. <laughs> what do you think that is over here? Is it a bun warmer? A bread warmer. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Twenty-five dollars. Yeah, that's quite the lamp. <laughs> Love this yellow and black or dark wood table. That is like so 1960s. Two twenty-five. So cool. So the music here gets really loud, and I'm going to have to do a voiceover as much as I hate it. But these orange chairs, the burnt orange chairs, were amazing. And in the back there, I call it a Davenport, but it is actually a George Jansen daybed. The price on that day bed was $6,500. Not that it's not worth it, because I'm sure it's a, a wonderful piece. But I am just amazed at the quality and quantity um, of their mid-century modern pieces. Here we have a lot of mid-century modern glass. I loved this coffee pot. It was $19.57, $45. Um, not sure who the maker was, but it had that pink and black uh, color pattern on it. Um, so this, oh, this next little piece, it was the smallest little pitcher and, and glasses with the silver rim around them. And it did have a cursive L on it. So I think it was Libby's. That was $60. So then as I'm turning around here, um, I do spot some vintage clothing that I'm going to probably go check out. They've got wonderful lamps and the wall decor is amazing. Pretty sure that swirled metal is a Curtis Jeer. So now I see these amazing bar stools. Let's see, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh like I said, for a while I didn't really like mid-century modern, but this stuff, this these lines are amazing. Let's see. Five seventy-five for six of them. They are cool. Hi, so this is my um, haul from Heart and Soul Flea Market down in Sioux City. We stopped there, my sisters and I stopped there while we went to the bins during one of the um, times where the bins were changing out. It's not very far from the Goodwill Outlet bins. So we ran over there. I had been there before, but I was really short on time that day and didn't get through the store like I would have wanted to. Um, I also didn't film that day. But anyway, if you are looking for mid-century modern, that is the place to go. I The, the um, items in that flea market, they call it, are amazing and in excellent condition. They have the largest variety of furniture items um, from that 1950s, 60s era, and they are spectacular. So I'm sure you see that in the video. Now on the flip side, even though I think the prices are, are good, they're definitely retail prices. They're not for reselling prices. So I wasn't able to get mid-century modern, pick up any really mid-century modern items to sell, um, but it sure was fun to just look at them. And I'm really starting to like the mid-century modern vibe. Uh, and their items were, like I said, just really spectacular. So I suggest if you're looking for mid-century modern, that is definitely a place to go um, in the Midwest. But I did, I always find something. So the first thing I found in one of the little consignment booths was this black kitten on a chair. It is a Harvey Knox Kingdom piece, which were made in the 80s. Now I paid $5 for him. And the last one sold worth points, so uh, probably eBay, so you would add shipping to this. The last one sold for $30, so not a bad profit. I'll probably list mine on Etsy for about mm, 40, but that would include the shipping price in there. 
the next thing I found, which I thought was going to be a really good pickup. I only paid $15 for it. Is this Victorian Silhouette Reverse Painted Jewelry Box. It's in really good condition. Um, there is just a bit of minor paint loss on the uh, silhouette, but not much. I mean, I've seen much, much worse. And inside is in really pristine condition. It's even lined with glass on the bottom and the mirror is good. I paid $15 for this. I will probably list this for about $45 on Etsy. And then the last item was, I saw it, I loved it, I knew it would sell. So this will be going up soon, but it is from 1904. And it is a Hiawatha uh, lithograph inside this heavy cardboard uh, frame that has been inked around it. There's a, a poem from the, the Hiawatha play written below, but it is just, I love it. I, I love this. If you're a collector of Native American things, this would be a perfect addition to your collection. On the back, it does say Cedar, Cedarine Allen Company. Um, the standard piano and furniture polish from New York City, or Clinton, New York, I should say. And it is patented on February 23rd, 1904. So definitely antique. It's in good condition. I can't say that this little cardboard thing holds it up very well, but there is a spot for hanging, and you could probably reinforce that somehow. But um, pay $4.00 for this piece and on worth point which is it is a product that i do subscribe to uh worth point will show you what it last sold for and i did find this exact same one and it sold for 69 dollars. so yeah i'm gonna make some money on this one but this is even a piece that i like enough that i would keep for a while um so like i said heart and soul flea market down in sioux city iowa if you want mid-century modern, they have the best collection I have ever seen. So all for now, and we will see you next time where we went to Beersford, South Dakota and hit a couple of um, one charity shop and one antique mall. Have a great week and we'll see you next weekend. Bye.